Welcome back, first graders. Here we go with some more reading. I hope you're ready, okay? Just so go ahead and give me five if you need to. Eyes are watching, mouth is quiet, ears are listening, body is still, and we are ready to learn, okay? Today, again, the only thing you need is going to be your blue reading book, okay? Let's find the same page we started on yesterday, which was page 40, and it had the big picture. So page 40, remember 40 is a four and a zero, okay? It might help, boys and girls, if you have like a sticky note or something at home, or even a bookmark, um, to bookmark the page that we use. And so like, get, let's say yesterday we were using this page, so when we were done with it and we closed our books, it might be helpful if you have something so let's see i have this little you could use anything i have this little sticky note here i could just stick it in here and close it up so that the next day it might not be on the exact same page that mrs garris wants me on but i'm at least a lot closer so let's say i told you to go to page 43 well i'm already at page 40 so i just have to flip one more page okay it's just a suggestion to make it easier for you okay we want again page 40 Go ahead and pause me if you need some more time to find it. I am looking at the picture and I see a, ooh, let's put our books down. We're gonna look with our eyes, but we're gonna use our arm, okay? I see a fox. Can you segment and blend the word fox with me on your arm? Here we go. Fox, fox, good. I also see, hmm. I also see a box. Do you see the box? Do you see it? Right here on the bench? See it? Okay, segment and blend box with me, boys and girls. Here we go. Box, box. Awesome work. Okay, let's see here. Anything else? Let's see. Oh, there's a man who has a bowl and he is mixing something. Do you find him? He's in the window. Can you segment and blend mix with me? Here we go. Mix, mix, good. And then there's a man, he's right next to the guy in the window and he is doing what? This guy with his tools. He's fixing something. Let's segment and blend fix next. Here we go. Fix, fix. Good, did you hear something that was the same between all our words we just segmented and blended? We said mix, fix, um, we said fox, and we said box, box. Hmm, what's the same in all those words? Mix, box, fix. I hope you're hearing the end sound is the same in all of them. The end of every one of those words, we hear the x, box, mix, fox. Good, okay? So today, we're gonna talk about a new sound. Our I can statement says, I can read x in words. And that's the letter that we're working with today, boys and girls, x. Can you say the sound? Can you say it three times? X, X, X. Good job, okay? X is a letter that can come mostly in the middle or the end of words. Okay, there are a few words in the, in the world that will begin with X, but a lot of them, especially ones that we look, look at in first grade, will have the X either in the middle of the word or the end. So. What if we took one of our words we just segmented and blended? We had the box. How would we spell the word box? Hmm. First sound I hear is b, 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 ox. Ooh, what needs to go here? Ah sound. What makes the ah sound? Oh, good job. Can you segment and blend it? Here we go. B, ox. Box. Okay, let me make another word. Now segment and blend my word. Fix. What's my word? Fix. 
nice work. Okay. So Garrett's just put her book on the ground, but she needs it again. Okay, get your book. We're going to turn two pages. Ready? One. And two. More yellow words. Woo, woo. Okay, we get to practice some more. So look at the end of all of our yellow words today. What's at the end of all the words? We have the k sound. Good. And over here, our example of a picture is fox, like we found already in the other picture. Okay, here we go. This should be pretty quick, boys and girls. Get your finger ready. Put it on the M. Here we go. Max. Max. Good job. Next one with an F. Here we go. Fix. Fix. Next one. X sex. Next one with an M. Here we go. Mix. Mix. Good job. Go ahead and do the last one on your own. Let's see if you got it. Okay, do it with me. See if you got it. Six. Six. Nice work. Let's read the sentences at the bottom now. Whisper read sentence number one, starting with Max. Go ahead and whisper, read it over and over to yourself until I say stop. Are you practicing your sentence in your book? I hope so. Stop. All right, let's hear what you got. Read it with me. Max will fix the sex. Nice job. Let's do number two now. Whisper, read it to yourself until I say stop. Stop. Okay, read it with me. Sentence number two all the way at the bottom. Mix it at six. Read it again. Mix it at six. Let's see if we can do it a little smoother. Mix it at six. Awesome work, guys. All right. Now we're going to keep our book out. Remember I said we were going to get to read that funny story, Pig in a Wig? Well, if you turn one more page, there it is. Pig in a Wig. This is one of my favorite first grade stories. Pig in a wig, and I see right away the words pig and wig both have that short I, I sound in them, okay? It's short I, sounds like I, pig in a wig. Get ready because there's going to be a lot of those short I's and a lot of the X sound X in this story, okay? <clears throat> now, Pig in a Wig is written by Susan Stevens Crummel. And you have your book in front of you, so if you can't see mine as well, remember, you can just look at the one in front of you. And you can listen to my voice and follow along. Now, all the stories we read are going to have this fancy genre bubble. This fancy word, that's it's a reddish pinkish bubble today. It says genre. Can you say genre? Good job. Genre. Okay. Genre means like the category. What kind of story is it? Okay. Let's see what kind of story this one is. An animal fantasy is a story about animals that could not really happen. In the next story, you will read about a pig that does things a real pig cannot do. Okay? So animal fantasy. Fantasy, that word just means something that's not real. So it's a story about animals. We see our animal here, right? That could not really happen. This pig couldn't actually do any of this stuff. Okay, so that must mean pig in a wig is about to do some fun, interesting stuff. Let's see. When we read our stories, boys and girls, I encourage you to follow along with me in your book, using your finger, following the words that I read, and reading with me if you want to. Okay, here we go. Pig in a wig is big, you see. Wow. Pig in a wig is big, you see. He is big. Look at how big he is compared to this boy here. I bet this boy is about as big as most of most of the first graders that are watching this lesson. That is one big pig. All right. 
page 49. I'm down here at page 49. Tick, tick, tick. It is, what's that word? Tick, tick, tick. It is three. If you look at the clock over here, it says three o'clock. Hmm, I wonder what that means. Oh, look at Pig now. <laughs> See what they mean by this pig couldn't actually do these things. Follow along with me. Here we go. Pig can mix. Mix it. What's that word? It's a sight word. Up. Good job. Up. Okay, next page. Pig can dip. Dip it up. Mmm, I wonder what pig is making. Maybe some mud pie. All right, <clears throat> down here with pig's face in the bowl. Pig can lick. <laughs> lick it up. It is six. Look at the clock now. Now the hand is pointing to the six and the 12, which means six o'clock. Tick, tick, tick. Pig is sad. She is, what's that last word? Can you segment and blend it? Sick. Sick. Oh, pig is sick. Why do you think pig is sick? Probably because pig ate all that, whatever was in the bowl and stuffed her whole face in it. And I might have a stummy, tummy ache too. Ah, look at who came. Fix that pig. Take a sip. What is pig getting? Some medicine, it looks like. Fix that pig. Quick, quick, quick. Will you read those three words with me with your finger pointing at them? Quick, quick, quick. Good. It has the, wow, lots of things happening in that word quick. It has the Q-U, which says qu. It has the short I. What sound does that make? I. And it has our focus sound from last week, the CK at the end. Sounds like k, right? Quick. Nice job. <gasps> oh, look. At the beginning, I was wondering why they had instruments. Now I kind of see why. Max, Max, take the sax. Play it, Max, and play it, Pam. So this must be Max, and this must be Pam. Pig in a wig did a jig. What a ham! That means he's being silly, super silly. What a ham! And there's our other sight word, what, for the week. And that is the end of our story, pig in a wig. Now remember our I can statement for when we read stories this week, boys and girls, is I can tell what happens in a story. Can you tell me what happens in Pig in a Wig? If we were to start back at the beginning, what happens? I see, hmm, Pig did what first? Um, he made something, but then he ate it all, right? Then what happened in the story here, in the middle of the story? At the beginning, he eats whatever he made. I don't know what it is. Then he feels sick. That's his problem, right? Remember we talked about there might be a problem in a story and did they fix it? Well, he got sick and did they fix it? Hmm, something to think about. And at the end of the story, Pig does a jig. Okay, that's Pig in a Wig. We will talk more about Pig in a Wig as the week goes on, boys and girls. Thank you for reading with me and Make sure you head over to Seesaw and show me your stuff. Do your very best on your work, and I will see you soon.